Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Ben Chart, and I finally have it! I have here Rise of the Tomb Raider running under DirectX 11, don't worry, I will bring DirectX 12 benchmarks too, but to start on we will start with DirectX 11, and I will use the high presets and the median presets and the low presets. I'm not going to touch in anything, I'm not going to create my own custom presets, I'm going to use the built-in presets that the game has, and let me show you the display, I'm running this uh, like I told you at DirectX 11, 1080p, SMAA, we have super sampling and amazing and FXAA to choose from too, but I will stick with the SMAA which I usually like it more. So let the benchmarks begin! If you want to check the results without recording, just click on the red rectangle saying frame rate, it will take you to the time of the video uh, where I have all the results without recording, graphics and everything. Uh, that you might want to, to know. If you want more details, just check the details of the video or the frame rate group down below. Okay? Thank you a lot for watching until now. Hope you enjoy it and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.
And now the results without recording. As you can see, this is the results that I got using the eye present. I got an average of 40 FPS. On the mountain peak, I could saw there some dips lower than 30s. Uh, well, it doesn't really show in here um, what I got with the minimums. It's mostly the average. The minimum doesn't seem too much accurate. This is the med median settings. I got an average of 46. Usually the frame rate was all the time above 30s. And this is what I got with the low settings. Keep in mind there is uh, another settings, another presence lower than low, which is the lowest. I did use the low. The low is not the lowest, okay? Okay, fine. And this is the result that I got running the exact same frame rate, but using fraps to create a log like I usually do for all the games. Um, showing the frame rate. So as you can see this proves entirely what I've been telling you. Um, the eye settings there are some dips there, sometimes lower than 30s. This includes uh, all the four parts of the map, it's not separated too, I'm sorry for that. But that dip down lower than 30s on the eye settings is in the Snow Peak Valley. I'm still not sure about how it runs in the gameplay, but I will do a video in gameplay in um, different parts of the map. To, to be sure how really the game runs. Now taking a look on the consistency test, as you can see, just like I suspected, the eye settings, we have 8% of frames lower than 30s, the median and the low settings, we have 0%, which is a good news if you want to play on the median, there is no frames going lower than 30s, at least on this benchmark too. So. About other stuff, on the eye settings we got a VRAM usage of 2GB, a RAM usage of 5.4GB of RAM, which I feel recommend you to have 8GB of RAM if you are going to play on the eye settings. The CPU seemed to be ok, but there is a, there was a little bit of bottleneck there on the GPU, and I think it's normal because the benchmark 2 and the PC was stressing out to try to streaming assets, which I don't see what's the point of having a benchmark flying around without having even time to load all the assets. That That's just stupid in my opinion, but okay, it's it's up to them. <sighs> okay, but on the median settings and the low settings, the story is a little bit different regarding the memory. The RAM usage, for example, on the median on on the low, it stays on 4.4 gigabytes, which I believe that for people with 6 gigabytes of RAM, it should be enough. As for the VRAM, the normal settings or the median settings, um, it consumes around 1.5 GB and the low settings it consumes around 1.0 and 1.1 GB, which is a nice, a nice, a nice, um, a nice news for people with 1 GB version of the HD 7850. Okay, so that's all I wanted to talk about. Rise of the Tomb Raider Benchmark 2. Hope you did enjoy this video, and if you want to support my channel, just Press like, subscribe, share it, or disable ad block. Just like I told on the start of the video. Uh, well, because the games are expensive. Uh, so I really done that because of you. I really brought the game because of you. I was uh, I wasn't planning to buy it right now. I was planning to buy it later. But uh, many people requested this uh, this game for this channel and benchmarking them. And so there you go, guys. It's here. So hope you did enjoy it. And hope to see you soon. Goodbye.